today it's day 12 no it isn't it's the 12th of <laughs> march on 2019 and it's day 26 of ghv airfield savers today i'm going to be painting more painting on the uh, rescue helicopter model that you have seen Julian do some work on and today it is my turn and I'm now going to invite Julian in to explain to me what it is I am going to be painting today with these paints. Julian! Yeah, well I'm probably not going to go on camera, I'm going to do noises off. Oh okay. From this side, so uh, in the first instance we're going to be painting probably the best thing to do with the cockpit floor and the cockpit sides. Right. And you'll identify the cockpit floor as the biggest piece on that sprue you're holding there. The cockpit floor oh, yeah. is number 44, and I'm yeah. be painting the front and the back. Yeah. And the inside, not the outsides of the fuselage, but just the insides yeah. of the fuselage. Yes, that's right. Okay. And right. the seats, I think you said. That's right. The seats are slightly different, uh, darker grey colour. Okay. So there are two seats on this sprue, and there are two individual seats on this sprue, plus a double seat plus a triple seat. That's right. <gasps> it's so exciting. Now you've got to make the choice of what paints you're going to be using. I think I've already showed you the, the paints of the light grey for the uh, for the cockpit floor and the light grey for the, uh, sorry, the darker grey for the seats. Okay, so the seats will come next. First yes. of all, I will select a paintbrush. Yep, and it's really up to you. Remember they've got paintbrushes hanging above you as well. Oh, and yes. paintbrushes to the side on, on the, oh, so on the desk. Choose right. one you think. It's about the right. Oh. Early decisions. Yeah. Depends on the size. Okay, I like this one. Yeah, you like that one. Now and you I've got my little, so. my little muscle, shrimp muscle pot. Doesn't have any shrimps or mussels in. Of water. That's it. Okay, that's great. I'll get my paint ready. Uh, and you might have to just use the top of the paint as a palette. You can get the, just twist. Ah! That's it. Ah. Right. Twist and pull. Twist and pull. Yeah. It depends on how. This doesn't look like grey. It will be. Ah, oh, you need to stir it a little bit. Some, sometimes it looks quite dark. Oh, I see. Yes. It's, it's getting lighter as yes. I stir. As you stir, it lightens up. There it goes. I'm not nervous. Yeah. Gentle strokes, just all in one direction. And, and or paint the round the rim as well. Uh, not the rim, no, because no. if you remember that's oh, the yeah, that's for the glue into the fuselage. So try and avoid the rim. Yes. Um. Any point where you're going to attach the plastic into the uh, into another piece of plastic, if you have less paint on that, it's better. Right, I remember you now. I remember you did that. Do everything. Do everything. I tend to do it, even though, apart from the, say the edges. Yeah. Even though some of it you might not see, at least you know it's painted in there. Indeed, indeed, indeed. Next stage. They've we'll, dried. Yep. Yeah, but we'll dry. Matte paint dries pretty quickly. It's the uh, right um, gloss paint that doesn't. Right. Oh, All right. Preliminary painting complete. All done. So, next session will be mostly putting it together, completing a cockpit and doing the touch-up. Oh, magnificent. So, well done. Onwards and upwards. <laughs>